Hello everyone, this is Diane. Happy Memorial Day to those in the United States. Uh, happy Monday to the rest of you. I'm making this video on Monday. You won't see it on Monday. Um, I went to the flea markets this morning, or the, one, one flea market this morning. Um, they have a lot more vendors on a holiday. So I got some good stuff and you should have seen the video for that yesterday. That'll go up on Tuesday. This video will go up on Wednesday. I'm not trying to do a video every day. I want to try to post a like a crafty video Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in between, you might see um, flea market haul or um, when I'm putting stuff in my shop. But the crafty videos should be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm going to try. So this will be up on Wednesday. So I'm working on the strawberry journals, um, and they've both been claimed, by the way. They're both reserved for someone. Um, and this one is a larger book. It's got a hot pink cover, just a plain hot pink cover that I'm going to decorate. And I'm using some pages from a strawberry shortcake book. I showed um, a video the other day, Monday, I think, today. Um, of the pages and things that I was using. So I won't go into that. But I started decorating today. I added some lace to some of the pages. I got all the pages cut and folded, obviously. And on the front page of the signatures, I decided to make this little collage. I took a six by six cardstock of uh, ledger paper. I have a pad of cardstock lined papers that are six by six. I think it's um, Seven Gypsies, but it's old. And I cut it in half, so I got two tags out of each page, and I just made it into a tag shape, punched a hole, added uh, reinforcement. I collaged it on this page with some other elements and made this little index card tag to stick in there. So I did one for each journal, but I decided to go ahead and make one of those collages for each of the signatures. So I'm not done yet. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I just started pulling things out for it. I have a little Tim Holtz girl there on a pink doily. I have an, a stamp and a little button that was cut out of fabric, pink fabric. And I bought, I pulled out some printable tickets to add to the collage. There's nothing strawberry on this collage page. I don't have a lot of strawberry, little little strawberry embellishments. Because I already made two strawberry journals and I used up all of my strawberry stuff. But then my friend Donna sent me a package of strawberry stuff. So I got some digitals to go with it. And um, we're... Actually, I, she can't be over here because I need this to be a pocket. Let's switch things around a little bit. So anyway, I'm making two more strawberry journals and I don't mind because they were fun and I love strawberries. I even love the visual of strawberries. There's just something about them. Add this ticket. something else. I think I do. I think I might have some more of these hearts. I stamped those hearts on pink cardstock. I think I might have some more. I also have these corrugated ones that I got in a happy mail from Sharon. Maybe I could use a couple of those. one of these collages. Maybe I could use a jar. Strawberry preserves. There they 
there. I don't know if I'll use these coupons, but I'll pull them out just in case. They're kind of cute. They're, that's a stamp I have, coupon you are entitled to, and you fill it in. It might just be a fun little embellishment, but I don't know if we can make it work on these collages. But we'll try. I have these binders underneath my table at my feet here. They're very handy. Now, I have the jar. So that looks cute. I have the heart. I think I like the jar better. And I have the coupon. Looks cute too. But I think I'll save that and use it for when I put a little boy on, on one of these. So, the jar it is. just too big. was bugging me just having two things up there. Okay. I don't have... On this one I had a little scrap of paper tucked behind. Um, that might help because the pink of the doily matches the background paper too much. This is a strip of the dyed paper that I'm using. One of the cutoff strips. Yeah, that helps. Yeah, okay, so we're going to start with that. I'm going to glue that down first. else is on top of the tag so I will glue the tag down on three sides. Fumble fingers today. Sure, the doily get or the jar gets behind the doily, right? Okay. 
right. Next we'll do the doily. This day is really getting away from me. I felt like it was still morning. I mean, I ate my lunch late because I was, I finally got in here to start and I was working on the first collages and so it was 1.30 before I ate lunch but I still felt like it was early in the day so yeah it's just going away the whole day is going away it's probably going on four now 3.55 all over my hands. three pieces. A stamp, a heart, and a circle. It says number six. These two collages are running into each other now. just have to make a little card to tuck in there. feeling sleepy. I haven't been remember, remembering to take my vitamin D. Gotta do that. As soon as I stop this video, I'm gonna go take my vitamin D. There, that's a cute little card to tuck in that cute little collage pocket. I should have stenciled on that page if I want to add color to that. Maybe I'll just leave them white. There's nothing wrong with white pages. I need a drink. That's better.
I was able to go to church for the first time since quarantine started. If you remember, um, they were starting last week. Um, several small groups, like five groups of people spaced throughout the day and we had assigned groups and they put one pianist in each group except we only have four so I guess the pastor's wife did it twice last time. Today, and I couldn't go because um, the last two groups didn't get to go last week because it rained and it's outside. Um, so anyway, I got to go yesterday but they decided to make um, four groups instead of five. It was, there were few enough people that we did not exceed 25 people by combining them into four groups. I don't know if I'll use that, but maybe I'll use a part of it. So anyway, my point was, I don't need, to, I don't need that yet. I got to go. Um, my group was a 7 p.m. group. And it looked like it was threatening rain. It was breezy. It was actually cool. And the reason, it's outside, but they still wanted a pianist because we have an electric keyboard. We have a piano, but we also have an electric keyboard, a clavinova, which I don't really enjoy playing, but that's what we can use outside. So it was actually, we have a side door um, that leads out into a side yard and there's a hallway at the door. So the Clavinova is inside. So they don't have to keep hauling it in and out, in and out for every service. So I was inside, you know, and it was hooked up to speakers so they could hear it. I was the pianist, by the way. <laughs> I'm not telling this story very well. But it was breezy and looked like it was threatening rain. There were dark clouds, but nothing happened. No rain. So all of the services were held yesterday. I'm looking for a little boy. He's cute. brothers. Oh, I just spilled them. Box came open. Maybe he doesn't want a pink doily. He can sit on the coupon. See what else I have that I can put on here. These are from a very, very old children's coloring book and the pages were very, very brittle. And it was like an activity book, kind of. They were supposed to cut them out. I think these were supposed to be place cards. They could make things with the pages in the book. So I made copies. And I think they're cute. They might look good in a strawberry book. I need to use some of this stuff that I just store.
These are things that I stamped. Maybe some of these little tabs would be cute in the collage. And these are printable stamps. But I already have stamps. I'll take one out just in case. Stamped. Okay, I think we're going to try to go with what we've got. Little boys probably like airplanes more than they like queens. Yep, I'm not going to overthink it. We'll go with this. working tomorrow so hopefully I'll have time to just stay home and work on this no kid watching no flea marketing let's get these strawberry journals going I was eating my lunch today I watched a video by a lady I've been watching her videos for a few weeks now um, she doesn't do craft videos her name is Bobby copy and she does videos her byline is uh, life in midlife or something like that but she does um, home and organization and beauty and diet stuff like that and anyway the video that of hers that I saw today was how to watch YouTube and I found it very interesting a lot of the stuff I knew but I thought it would be a great video for people who don't really know all of the things you can do as a not a youtuber like me that doing videos but as a watcher a viewer all the things you can do about um, subscribing and commenting and the playlists and things like that so very informative and very helpful and maybe I'll link her video below She has a lot of subscribers.
He's so cute, sitting there on his coupon. Now I would not have thought I need to go stamp a coupon so he can sit on it. But that's why I like having, he's a little too close to the edge there. I like having the binder with stuff already there because then I can pull out things that I wouldn't normally have thought of using. And this little tab. We will give him a green card with some strawberries on it. There it is. So all of the collages are done for the big book. I don't think I mentioned this is the fly leaf of the book, so it's gingham on the front and back fly leaf. So this page gets the gingham on the back. So there's one. There's one. And there's one. He might be my favorite one. So I already have one done for a little journal. Use Queen Elizabeth maybe on this one. I'm going to put some torn paper behind, I think.
don't want it to look like I'm trying to put the little girls in a jar. It's a little ticket. something up there. I'm going to look for a little label. How about a green label? Something other than pink and red or black. Let's try the black one. Again, we'll start with a scrap of paper. Make sure I get it in the right place. I don't have as much wiggle room on this page because it's smaller. I don't think the lace will bother because the tag won't go in far enough to get caught on the lace coming out. I think we're done with that glue stick. Too much glue, it glopped up on there. I have my phone telling me that somebody sent me a Facebook message and then my tablet is in here with a notification. So sorry about all the techno noise. Now up here I will add Queen Elizabeth and a daisy and got little, little threads I need to cut off of this. They were tickling Queen Elizabeth. And we'll add this little label. Can't have it hanging off because I need to have that open. can hang off this corner. We 
we're doing good. We'll at least have these collages done before I'm finished for the night. Because I have other stuff to do, I have to um, clean up my flea market stuff that's still on the on my um, kitchen table, dining room table, from where I did my video. I should have used a different color behind there because it just blends right in. I think I'm going to take a dark marker and outline this tag because I don't like the way that looks right there. It looks like the tag is all torn on the edge. It's not the tag, it's the paper behind it. Got. I used the reinforcements on tags, but this one was already, I don't know. I guess I just won't use a reinforcement on that. That looks better. Now, I'll have to determine later if I want to do that to all the tags. I think I do. It already looks like it's missing something. finish the rest another time or off camera because I want to do one more collage I hope this isn't getting boring for you but I really do want to finish these where are the tags there there's one I put a reinforcement on let's go ahead and outline this before we even start This marker is just about done. There. I think I want to use another one of these if I can make one fit. This is the smaller page. Maybe it won't work on this. Maybe I can use it down here. Got these little boys. They could stand on that. Thought I pulled out a bunch of these.
This is one of those vintage labels stickers too. Let's see what I have in here. It says punch tag tags and labels. Works for me. Okay, I like it. Let's go for it. Okay, let's do the top part first. I had this up here and this. some layers on this. I'm going to peel some off. I think this was stuck to a postcard. Back before I got my mother's stamps, I had ordered some, uh, just a whole set of Queen Elizabeth stamps from an Etsy seller or eBay seller don't remember it's been quite a few years now so I've got Queen Elizabeth stamps in every color you could think of except red apparently Thank you. 
Okay, we're getting there. I have to take my garbage out too. I'll come pick it up in the morning. Now, I don't think I did the, didn't do a card for that one. I've got a pink one, I've got two pink ones left. I went on to Etsy and typed in strawberry digitals or something. I could not believe how many strawberry digitals came up. So I looked and got the paper pad that I, or the paper kit that I like the best. I could have got one a little cheaper. The one I got was under $3. And I liked it better than the 99 cent one, which was cute. I would have used the 99 cent one. But I figured I'd just spend a couple more and I think it was $2.65. Got the paper pad that I really liked, digitals. And then I found these cards. There's five pages of cards and I only printed out three. There's pl plenty of cards in this kit, and they were, I think I was 99 cents. I'll have to find them again and link them. I said I would do that in the other video, and I didn't. What am I looking for? Tabs. I need tabs. I know I pulled out enough, but I probably lost one. Oh, I got them. These are just paper. For some reason, I printed them on paper instead of cardstock. But I think they're going to be good enough for just this little task they have to do. They're not going to be required to do too much. Okay, so this can go in here, and this can go in here, and we are done with that particular um, embellishment. We've got laces, or at least one piece of lace in each signature, and the collage in each signature. And that was a little bit of... Uh, that was time consuming to do those collages, but I love them. I like the way they turned out. I enjoy doing collages. It's not a hardship. So all I have to do now is go around the edges with my marker. And that's gonna do it for my video for today. And um, hopefully you'll get to see me working more on these journals or you'll see the finished product on Friday. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.